pulled his balls outside, so I want to work on something I've been wanting to work on since I redid these lights. One of you might remember that. Uh, basically, when I put these four lights up front, or the eight lights, the Chiron lights, I call them. I lost my turn signal in the front. I took it out. And I've just been trying to get by with my mirror signal, which works. But I can tell it gives other drivers a little bit of uncertainty. They, they don't know if that's actually my turn signal or not. So I'm going to go OEM style and turn off my daytime running lights. These, I can't even do them. Maybe I can do them. No, I can turn them. Get them warmer. I can brighter them. There we go. But they're square halos. And at the time I bought these lights, they didn't come in an amber halo. I actually have red and blue ones somewhere. I was going to do red, white, blue, but then I thought I'd get pulled over. So I didn't do that. But for now, I am going to, using a switchback module I found on the eBay's. There's a couple of them. Some use grounds. You can't use ground switch ones on LEDs because LEDs only flow one way. So I found one that controls the powers because these lights only have, and most lights only have a common ground. So I got one that controls the powers. Ideally, it is going to turn off this side, the signals on running lights, and then I got some other slick stuff I'm gonna show you here in a second that I've been working on with these, with these lenses, as you can see. I'm gonna take those lenses out of this just this end light and replace it with amber lenses which they do not make but fortunately let me show you how to make those too here we go I start the screwdriver with the screwdriver you have the power of modification Two little screws back here. I've had these apart before, so I kind of know how they're together. It's two screws. The little gasket. Rip the gasket. It just looks like some dried up bathroom coffee. And then this little guy comes off. There's two little wires on there that that's what lights up the running light. Don't break him. I don't have tiny little fingers to solder that back together. And then inside here is the lenses. I'm just gonna take one out and show you. But basically, the lens comes out. Now I'm gonna go, because I'm a 3D drawing wizard, I'm gonna redraw this lens in Fusion so that. I can 3D print it in an amber resin and make an amber version and convert this one light here into a turn signal. So, let's go do it. Well, I tried screen recorder and it didn't work. It, well, it worked up on that monitor. But it didn't record the audio, even though I have a microphone here somewhere. And then when I tried to open the resin printer slicer, it wouldn't go on that monitor, so you couldn't see it. 
So here we are. Auto Fusion 360 Audit from Autodesk is what I used to draw this lens. I used a set of calipers to measure said lens, draw said lens in here. Basically you start off by creating a sketch, pick a plane, you draw some lines with some radiuses, and then you get this. Now, obviously, it took me more than a few minutes, but this <laughs> is not a fusion tutorial. There's plenty of those out there. Once you have this saved, you go up here, file, there's a 3D print thing. You can click on that and it'll export it into an STL file. All right, after we have the STL file from Fusion exported, we'll open it in the slicer. I'm using the Photon uh, Workshop. It's with for my AntiCube resin printer. Go down here to Amber Exo Lens. Uh, it is itty bitty. And that's because I drew it in, well, inches. So now I have to scale that to millimeters because everything with 3D printers seems to be in millimeters. It's just 25.4 times, which is 2,540%. And then that should be the right size. I'm pretty sure. It looks about right. This is a small printer. We'll rotate it so I can fit four on there. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Now I got four. Space them on. Eh, I don't really want to space them too much. Give it time. Give it some room to drain as it goes up and down. All right. Now I'm going to slice it, and I'm going to slice it to the F drive, and I'm going to overwrite LED lens. Save. Yes. No, wait. I'm going to overwrite this one, Amber Lens, because it's got zero. Save. Yes. And here's a report. Take two and a half hours, 58 milliliters of fluid. Hit OK. All right, now here we are at the printer. Flash drive in the side. We'll do a little blinky thing. And we're gonna hit print. And find our print. Here's the four lights. Don't know why one's blue. <laughs> But we'll find out here in a second. When it goes down to print, it'll light up the feet. There should be eight feet. <laughs> there they are. They are printing. And in two and a half hours, we'll see how it went. I guess I should add that I'm trying this clear orange resin I got off of Amazon. It says water washable. I've never used it. Uh, but one of the biggest pain in the butt parts of resin printing is how messy it is. So I'm hoping this is a game changer. Two hours, 29 minutes left. All right, print is done. Two and a half hours later. Let's uh, get these off of here. Alrighty, they are done printing. You can see them. This was that amber resin, or they just called it orange. I call it amber because that's what color turn signals are. 
So they're done. They are almost replicas. I left this part here just one radius because I want a wider light spread. See on these old lenses, uh, some of you might remember when I got these lights, since these are headlights and they're all mounted upside down, I actually had to take this out and flip it over because of the beam pattern. If you look at a regular projecting light, it's flat on the top and kind of arcs down on the bottom for uh, headlights so you don't blind people coming at you. And then the headlight, the high beams I left alone, they aim up and the headlights they aim down. So I got the new lenses in there. I have already test wired the module. I gotta clean up the wiring. But this is the module. It's a diode dynamics and uh, it's pretty easy to install. The, I mean, the, the wiring diagram is right there. So, let's see what they look like now with the new light. We got the running lights and the amber one. I think it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. And then, so that's just running lights. Turn on the headlights and I'll kind of show you what I mean. See how the blade pattern? That side still has two lights. This side is just one light now. But before I flipped the bulbs over, that was upside on and it wasn't an ideal pattern. So, turn off the headlights. Now we've got parking lights. All right, now we've seen all that. Let's see how they look when they're running. That's obviously, that's still the running lights. And turn on the turn signal. The module shuts off the running lights. Blinks the new amber light, which is very bright. And then turn my signal back off. I love it. I think it might actually work with the fog light. I don't use them much anymore. The fog light's on. Alright, running lights on, fog lights on. And now, yeah, fog light stays on. But, it's good enough. Turn signals again. At least on one side.